out of you today and for the next 10 classes is going to be Muhurt. Actually, Muhurt is very important. I will start with the usual introduction, then a few new things you will learn. And then we'll go to the Muhurt thing. See, for like astrology, how astrology is made, you will read a horoscope. From that horoscope, you will do two, three things. You will assess about the native and you will make predictions about the future. These predictions are based on the planetary combinations that is happening in the horoscope. Now, if the prediction is good, well and good, you time it with respect to Dasha and Dardasha and predict that good event, this particular good event is going to happen at this point of time, all okay. But if the event is bad, then what you do? You will do remedy if the event is bad. Now, talking of remedy, remedy is dubious topic. So remedies are basically of two, three types. We Hindus, Indians generally recommend spiritual remedies. These spiritual remedies are good because Sanatan Dharma, Hinduism, Sanatan, Hinduism, whatever you say, I have, I'm dubious about the Sanatan name itself, but okay. It's very ancient. Rishis had great knowledge and only spiritual remedies are the ones which can actually, because horoscope indicates the result of karmas. So you have done a lot of karmas. If the karma is documented. It is called prarabdh. Sanchit, sorry. Out of that karma, few karmas you will face in this life, which is reflected from the horoscope. Hor complete horoscope is a karmic blueprint. That is prarabdh for this life. Prarabdh is fortune, what is designated for this life. As you live in the life, you are free to do things. You are free to make the choice. What happens after making the choice is in the end of the card, right? Is in the end of the karma. So because you are free to make choices, you will make choices. This will add to the Kriya Man Karmas. Now, because horoscope, astrology, or any result that you are facing is a result of karma, spiritual remedies are the only remedies which can alleviate the karmic suffering. God is very gracious. And if God is gracious, he can decide to alleviate the karma, remove the karma, remove the suffering, altogether remove the suffering or decrease the suffering, whatever. But God will not do it without your effort. Let's understand this point. Your effort is very much needed. In Bhagavad Gita, Arjun, Krishna is telling to Arjun that Arjun, you fight. These people are already dead. You don't worry. But Krishna is not telling him, okay, let me use my magic and make everyone happy with each other. Right? So he will not alleviate the karma. He is not alleviate the karma for Parth, his friend. He will not do it for you. Right? So spiritual remedies can do a karmic change. Right? But much dedication, devotion is needed. Regarding remedy, let's understand something very clearly so that we are able to see right approach in the remedy is very much needed. Krishna is telling to Arjun that Arjun, whatever information Krishna is giving to Arjun, that information is regard to what? You see, you have done a karma. Suppose the karma is killing someone. Example. So, it is not only killing that you have committed. That killing also fills you with rage, anger, frustration and all these things. Now, this rage, anger and frustration remains with you. Whereas the killing is documented in the karma department. You die, you go to heaven, hell, suffer the punishment. But you do not suffer the karma, you suffer the punishment. Then you are born as animal or tree where you can only suffer. But that is a physical suffering. That is not a mental suffering. That animals have a physical, trees have a pure physical suffering, no mental suffering. Animals have very less mental suffering as compared to human. That animals feel very less emotions. But still they understand the emotion. Right. Nowadays I am watching wildlife a lot. Something surprised me. A dog, 
if you are a hindi speaking person you tell to the dog udhar jao he will go english speaking person you will tell go there he will go french speaking person will say the same thing he will go so they can understand language they cannot develop it they can understand they cannot speak maybe they can speak but very limited words are there right the barking of the dog have four five variations into it not more than that human language have a plethora of variations right so the approach that krishna is giving in the bhagavad gita to arjun vishad yoga raj yoga and all sort of things he is saying that you do bhakti yoga you give complete surrender to me or you do the raj yoga you do the karmas don't expect the result bhagavad gita he is telling you different ways to adopt what these ways will do let's understand the point if you have committed a bad karma you are going to suffer the result that is very certain nothing can abolish it but you are free to do the kriya man karma now your mind because krishna is saying in bhagavad gita that by the end of your life if you wish to eat an animal right at the end at the death time because this is a tamasic emotion you get a tamasic birth so if you are born as a animal you are born as a tamasic animal such as dog or hyena and not born as a satvik animal such as cow or any pet elephant though no animal is satvik as such but in the animal kingdom at least they are having more satvik nature so the approach that krishna is putting in front of you in a bhagavad gita if you remain devoted and dedicated to god if you do karma without expecting the result and all sort of these things what it will help you in that the kriyaman karmas that you will commit those kriyaman karma will be good right so let's understand that 80% there is the result of the previous karma 20% there is the result of kriyaman and as you do good kriyaman even in the 100% suffering case when it is 100% suffering because its kriyaman is good it is only 80% suffering 20% is good result this is what good karma leads you to so the first thing in remedy is always do good karmas right let's understand two thing good karma and bad karma comes into a cycle so bad karma will come after that good karma will also come good karma will come after that bad karma will also come for all people like ramkrishna paramhansa are also dying of cancer don't worry for them also bad karma is coming good karma will be for the longer span bad karma will be for the smaller span if you are virtuous in the previous life non virtuous bad karma will be for longer span and good karma will be for shorter span and then the gravity of suffering is also dependent on what type of karma you have committed killing someone gives you high suffering right disrespecting someone gives you low level of suffering both of them gives the suffering now when it is a good time or a bad time all the things that you can do as per your choice you should do good karmas so say you are suffering bad karma but things that you do from your choice kriyaman karma you are doing good kriyaman karma what happens that because you are constantly doing good kriyaman karma the period for however long period you are going to face the result of bad karma that period is shortened and the suffering is reduced after this good karma will come so the period in which you will enjoy the good karma will be elongated and the intensity of happiness in that good karma will be more if you are currently facing good karmas you keep on doing good karmas this good karma time remains for longer and the happiness increases this is what krishna is ultimately telling you in bhagavad gita and krishna is not giving any mantra to arjun or any remedy to arjun or recommending him a worship procedure that he can do in just get off of everything so let's be very clear about this particular approach that only what is indicated because horoscope is karma what is indicated in horoscope that will happen for sure today or tomorrow if divorce is indicated divorce will happen you want to make it less painful that is in your hand it will be more painful that is also in your hand this is only in your hand whatever is indicated in the horoscope you cannot change acha this is where muhurta is the challenge muhurta is challenging this basic concept right that's why muhurta is very important so i was explaining that one is to this spiritual remedy told by our rishis rishis are very intelligent it works that is apparently the only remedy which works and can do an impact on karmic level at least apart from that what is the other type of remedy other type of remedy apart from the spiritual remedy this is spiritual remedy is not necessarily hinduism based remedy it can be remedy of any religion 
Christianity, Judaism, etc., etc. Another is signification based remedy, right? For example, son is father. So if you respect your father, you are doing a remedy for son. Respecting your father is your dharma. And if you are doing your dharma, you are not doing a remedy. So basically, this is not a remedy, but keeping in mind it is Kaliyug and people are not respecting their fathers. If you are respecting it, certainly you are more virtuous than dharma gives you virtue. Virtue gives you opportunity. Right? So if you want to get opportunity, have dharma. So if you are respecting your father, which people in Kali Yuga is not doing, you will become virtuous. You will get more opportunity. On a remedial scale, this is a very small remedy. So you have to constantly do it. This is what I was explaining in yesterday's class to a student actually. A big remedy, like establishing a temple, doing a mantra chanting for 5 lakh, 6 lakh times. For whatever wish you do that remedy, that wish is fulfilled. And the planet for the rest of the lifetime is okay. It does not produce a problem to you. This is rigorous remedy which needs more effort, more hard, more hard work on from the side of the one who is doing the remedy. Smaller remedy like respecting your father will give you very little result and you will have to constantly do it for a lifetime. So all other remedies you say, sun indicates copper, you donate copper, you wear copper. It is better than respecting your father because respecting your father is dharma. Wearing copper is not an obligation. So you are wearing copper, you are certainly strengthening your son. It is a stronger remedy as compared to the previous one. But remember you are strengthening your son and if son is not a good planet, if son is a bad planet, he is about to give bad result. This strengthening is not good. The speciality with Muhurta course is that you see Muhurta employs a lot of astrological principles. So these principles you can use in natal horoscope also. It will give you many new insights that you don't know. So this is very speciality with this course. Mother, I was to about to say to every student whoever wants to practice as an astrologer to get this course essentially. But I generally don't recommend to people what to do, what not to do. Not abolishing their free will at all. <laughs> right? So, but it is very important. That's the basic point. So wearing copper is a stronger remedy, not a karmic level remedy, but neither a dharma like respecting your father, right? None of this remedy come in astrology. Wearing gemstone for the planet, wearing metal for the planet, it is told that sun signifies copper. Rishi is not telling you we are copper. So sun signifies copper. If your sun is powerful, you will gain copper. You will have plenty of copper. Nowadays, no one is having copper in their home. So you will have money, which is like, if you want to purchase copper utensil, you can very easily purchase it. If you have a strong sun, this is the basic thing that the Rishi is saying, right? Sun indicates Ruby. If Dasha of a good sun is running, you will find good Ruby. People will gift you good Ruby. Nowadays, no one is gifting gemstones, but if they are doing it, this is the thing, right? This is what the Rishi is saying. And apparently he's not saying that if you wear Ruby, sun will become powerful or strengthened as such. But one thing is there, right? See, it is the duty of the planet to give you that. So if sun is powerful, you will gain ruby. If sun is not powerful, he's struggling to give you ruby. Some other planet is giving you money. And if you use that money resource to purchase the ruby and wear it, you are helping sun. So there is less responsibility now that sun have to do in your horoscope. In this way, this is a good option. This is a good remedy. Right, planets indicate something. And as you do these things, as you have more things related to planet, they become more activated in your personality. You are just supplementing it. Right. So that if you cannot go into sunlight, you can you can eat vitamin D tablets. It's the same way. Right? Vitamin D tablet, your supplement you are giving. But the real remedy is Muhurt. Astrological remedy is Muhurt. The Rishi. Any Rishi who mentions remedy in their classics, such as uh, Parashar, I don't consider them very good. At least I'm not blaming Parashar, blaming the text, VPHS or any book for that matter. Because astrology is not for a particular religion or a particular type of people. Right? So astrology is for everyone. And as you include a Hinduism based remedy, you are saying that it is for Hindus only, which degrades the level of knowledge, right? So remedy, astrology is separate. Religious remedies at least are separate. The only remedy that come in astrology is Muhurt. Muhurt have three sections. Muhurt, matchmaking, Vastu. Right? These are only three remedies which is which is in astrology. So astrology is called Jyotish Pratyaksha Shastram, Surya Chandra Mahitra Right? Jyotish is the knowledge 
which you can see from your eyes, whatever is the result in astrology that can be seen through the eyes, that can be realized. If someone is going to suffer from their horoscope, they will suffer, you will be able to see it, everyone will be able to see it. And no other science is so clear, so direct is the basic message. So in astrology, the point is that a planet have a result, a prediction is there. If the prediction is not matching, then the horoscope is wrong. Because prediction should match astrology works. So in astrology, we have 100% confidence that it works. It is a super science. And the only remedy that is coming in astrology is Muhurt. So Muhurt is once again 100% remedy. Right? So if you employ a good Muhurt, the result will be guaranteed. That is for sure. Right. It is the only remedy that is astrologically approved. So the level of accuracy that we are expecting from astrology, the same level of accuracy we can expect from Muhurt also. And there is a advantage in Muhurt as well. The advantage in Muhurt is, you see, if someone is having a weak 10th Lord, he is not getting a good job. If he is getting the job, it is not sustaining. There is struggle in success. Now the 10th Lord is weak. 10th Lord cannot be made powerful at all. The 10th Lord will not change his position from the horoscope. It will be in the same position. So when you do a spiritual remedy, there is no guarantee that it will work. At least for normal people, there is no guarantee that it will work. Like for example, if you are donating things related to Mars, etc., there is no guarantee that it will work. Even if it works, it will work in very small quantity, will take long time. Regarding gemstone, you cannot wear gemstone for all planets. You can only wear gemstone for a planet who is giving good result but is weak. The gemstone becomes a dubious point. Apart from that, mantra chanting, etc., related to Mars, you are doing now, there are two things. You want success in profession. For success in profession, you should worship Ganesh or Vishnu. If you do that, it directly hits your profession, gives you quick result. But then dedication, devotion, mantra chanting should be high, right? 20 lakh mantra chanting, Dashan, Shavan, Tarpan, Marjan, Brahman, Bojan, right? Long list. Should Shiv, Shar, Pujan almost every day. So someone who is already struggling in profession cannot have that much time out. You will have to give a smaller remedy to them. But as you decrease the dose of the medication, effectiveness also decreases over time. So this is a dubious point. Another thing is that you cannot apply it for a Christian or a Muslim or any client for that matter. One more thing is there, even if you are worshipping God, even if you are wearing a gemstone, even if you are chanting a mantra, if you are not doing it in a good muhurta, then it is without virility. It is useless. The remedy is weak. So any remedy, no matter how powerful it is, if not done in a proper muhurta, will not work. Oftentimes I have seen as client is in front of me, client is wearing the gemstone, have done the remedy related to the planet which is weak in his horoscope. I am telling him the remedy, you wear emerald for mercury, he says, sir, I am already wearing. How many years? Five, six years. Then why this is mercury, Dasha, or you are facing problem related to the house which is owned by mercury. If you are already doing mercury remedy since five, six years, why you are facing the problem then? Then it should not be your problem. I will see your horoscope. I will say, okay, mercury related problem is there. You will say, sir, it was. I did remedy, now everything is fine. But people are not People never, there's not a single person who have ever said me that, sir, this was the problem. This remains the problem. What is the problem is there is the problem in the gemstone. Even if there is a problem in gemstone, you cannot correct it. Right. Even if the gemstone is, you say, if the gemstone is heated, treated, what you can do, every gemstone is heated, treated. Right. To check the purity of the gemstone, you cannot go to jeweler shop with every client to check the purity of the gemstone. You cannot do it at all. Good muhurt. If a person wears gemstone in a bad muhurt, it will be non-virile, it will not work, remedy will not work, it will be useless, powerless remedy it will be. So infuse power in any type of remedy, muhurta is needed at the first place. Right. So once the person wears the symptom, I tell the person, you remove the gemstone, keep it out for one month first of all. After one month in this muhurt, wear the same gemstone again. The native will wear the same gemstone again in the good muhurta that I gave him and it will work. Then two years later, that astrologer, that native can consult any other astrologer. That astrologer will tell him the bad result related to Mercury and he will say, sir, it was the problem. Now it is not. 
लेकिन फिर हम ऐसा फल कर देंगे वो दूसरे जो उससे कंसल्ट नहीं करेगा हमको तो पता ही है क्या किया हुआ है वॉट एवर बी दस सो एनी रेमेडी टू बी इफेक्टिव यू हैव टू यूज मुहूर्त दैट इज पॉइंट वन इन दिस को स्पेशलिटी शोड संस्कार so i have to come to that as well right regarding spiritual remedy spiritual remedy i believe is very cumbersome only people who have a lot of time and who have a financial freedom who live without liability and responsibility can actually do it right any worship of any deity if you tell the real procedure of the worship of any deity in today's time it will cost at least 3 4 lakh rupees and apart from that 3 4 lakh rupees you also need time to do that so it is not everyone's cup of tea right a 30 year old guy looking for a job cannot get a home art done which will cost him 5 lakh rupees at least right so it it becomes non effective and for people of another religion i cannot recommend it so the best remedy is muhurt even if the 10th lord is bad it is indicating that there is problem in getting job there is problem in sustaining job there is problem in progressing in job you can just make them join job in a good muhurt give interview in a good muhurt and success will be ensured give interview in a good muhurt either you will get the job or you will get better offer in future join the job in a good muhurt you will progress in the job the job will sustain and because muhurt is a remedy approved by astrology the result is guaranteed 100% if you talk about the share i believe it is 50 50 horoscope is bad you don't choose a good muhurt 50% is already bad remaining 50% you made bad 100% result will happen if the horoscope is good and you choose bad muhurt ye hoga nahi if the horoscope is good you will automatically choose good muhurt you will say i have done this on this muhurt and the muhurt will already be good So this will not be the case. If the horoscope is fifty-fifty, when the horoscope is bad, muhurt should be employed hundred percent. If the horoscope is having some good combination, some bad combination, you take muhurt into consideration, and things will be good. I will take marriage as an example. Two couple having bad seven thousand matchmaking is not there. You are employing muhurt. Things will become good, but effort will be needed from people, both of them. क्रियामार्क दैट दैट्स व्हाई एक्सीलेंट क्रियामान कर्मा राइट क्रियामान कर्मा इज नीडेड यू ज्वाइन जॉब इन अ गुड मुहूर्त फिर आप ऑफिस में सो जाते हो सरकारी बाबू हो गए हो फिर तो नहीं हो पाए यू वी हैव टू वर्क एज वेल सो क्रियामान कर्मा यू हैव टू कीप स्ट्रेट बट द रेमेडी विल हेल्प यू इन द केस वेयर बोथ पीपल हैव बैड 7000 बट मैच मेकिंग इज गुड दे मैरी इन अ गुड मुहूर्त मैरिज विल सस्टेन आल्सो एफर्ट विल बी नीडेड One person have good seven thousand. One person have bad seven thousand. Match making is fifty fifty. Muhurt is good. Marriage will sustain. So muhurt, what the muhurt guarantees to you, sustenance of marriage. Even if both people are having bad seven thousand, that means they are suffering in marriage. If match making is good, they understand each other, and if they marry in good muhurt, then the marriage sustains. Though they will have their share of problems in marriage. This problem can come from family members. It can come from finances. It can come from childrens. but marriage will eventually sustain so for whatever you say muhurt have a target you are setting the muhurt for which purpose and you know this is this is what i am introducing to you because i cannot do a a, a course without a research right ab ab mujhse padhoge to research to main aapko padhaunga bina research padhaye to mujhko neend nahi aati pura pura lagta hai dil halka halka kacha kacha lagne lagta hai so research i will have to teach you so what i have seen that people give a good muhurt you see there is no perfect muhurt in the world abhi main aapko padhaunga basic consideration theek hai na basic consideration 35 page lamba hai jo main pdf banaya 35 page lamba consideration hai har page mein 8 8 9 9 point hai to sab milenge to kabhi nahi to good muhurt is impossible best muhurt is impossible good muhurt is possible best muhurt is impossible best muhurt, is possible. Best muhurt, is impossible. Best muhurt you can never get in any case you will compromise in situations right like you say there are 10 good factors eight bad factors because good factors are more bad factors are less you take it as a muhurt more good factor is what we are basically looking at because completely good muhurt one can never find if they find it they can be very late right for a 20 year old guy the best muhurt for marry may come at the age of 65 tab jaake thodi shaadi kare abhi karna bhi to hai na you also have the sacrificity of time as well the time frame in which you will do it 
the job joining bhurta comes on a sunday you cannot join job on a sunday or you cannot join a job 3 in the morning right so there is scarcity of time as well so what is happening in astrological world what astrologers are doing <clears throat> and you see my only purpose of teaching a course is to realize first of all to teach you about the subject but i choose subject based on like on this subject what wrong is happening in the astrological world that should be corrected right so that i am putting in the astrological world through you so when a muhurt is given you see it is not given with a intention and that i believe is the problem lack of intention for example you say in marriage muhurt if moon is with another planet then that another planet will come in the life of the lady life of the woman right if venus is with another planet venus another planet is not an issue generally it is seen from the woman's perspective not being gender biased when i explain you you will understand but if moon is going with a planet that person is coming in your marriage that person is getting more focus in marriage from your spouse than as compared to you so if moon is going with sun the lady is more concerned about her father than about her husband right if it is somehow the seventh lord or mars or venus then the lady can have a lover as well while getting married can have an extra marital affair now for a horoscope for a marriage where you see the combination for extra marital in either of the horoscope this is the thing that you should fortify you have to make sure that there is no planet with moon because if there is a planet with moon then it will be problematic right so what i am introducing new that i will do with every muhurt is introducing the purpose for example as i told you the person with a weak 10th lord is not getting a job not sustaining a job not progress not progressing in the job three problems are there right any one of it or all three of this can be the case our remedy will focus on a point we our muhurta will focus on a point this muhurta is focused that you will get the job this muhurta is focused that this job will sustain or this muhurta is focused that that you will get progress in job so muhurta can focus at one thing or all of these things together but you will have to pay attention to different different factors right moon is powerful in muhurta you will get the job lagna lord is powerful in muhurta the job will sustain and your 10th lord is powerful in transit at the time of muhurta makes sure that you will progress so these are three different factors that generally people are not considering and this is the problem that is happening and it generally people say sir we married in good muhurta only but still see problem is happening i always ask them jokingly maine kaha agar humne muhurta nahi nikala hai to humko ye baatein na bataye kon kya muhurta nikal diya ab usme baith ke dekhi justification nahi diya ja sakta hai and but because purpose people are definitely missing the purpose what the muhurta wishes to achieve right so two basic points are there your kriyaman karma should be good 50% work muhurta will do coupled with good kriyaman karma 100% result can be guaranteed and because muhurta is an astrological remedy the result can be guaranteed as we guarantee in astrology in astrology we say na if seven thousand afflicted marriage will be bad for sure So, if you employ a good murta and do things in a good murta, success will ensure guarantee. Astrological guarantee is there. One more thing is there. Now you see the purpose of murta. How the murta developed? क्या जरूरत पड़ेगी ऋषियों को? Why the, the sages? Why they developed astrology at all at the first place? So these sages wanted to do some homa yagya to appease gods. You go to Rig Veda. Apparently. from an outsider's perspective it does not talk about much spirituality as such they are trying to appease god they are trying to appease the sun god wind god vasus thunder god indra etc etc water god varun agni all of that to appease them they are worshiping these deities i think rishis over time realized that we are worshiping indra indra is not getting happy he is worshiping indra indra is getting happy and over observation they found that it is about muhurt when you try to appease indra or any deity in a particular muhurt they get appeased quickly 
in a bad mood they don't get appeased quickly from there comes the concept of muhurt and as everything is cyclical i always say astrology circle inside circle as everything is cyclical in how much time the muhurt will reoccur this gives rise to calendar calendar that you see the different tithis different nakshatra as a circle right so that was the basic purpose of deciding the muhurt now after this after the muhurt have been already decided what happened after the muhurt was decided gods were becoming appeased then they started observing that okay if the things are done on a good muhurt if a question is asked in a good muhurt the result of that question is also beneficial prashna came into being then they found that if someone is born in that particular muhurt then the person is also successful natal chart becomes developed right this is the process this is how it have this is how the process have developed right this is the thing so the horoscope can also be seen from muhurt perspective if you take birth time as a muhurt and if person is born in a good birth time he is about to be successful like things done a good muhurt will be successful otherwise not right on this i have taught the complete panchang course glimpses of it you will get here as well right this is one one more point appeasement of god also happens as per the muhurt calendar comes from the muhurt the same muhurta principle you can apply to prashna also if the prashna is asked in a good muhurt the result will happen good result will happen whatever is the desire in the prashna that will be fulfilled if someone is born in a good muhurt that person will also be fortunate so our sages while discovering astrology first thing they discovered was muhurt only another thing that have to be understood for a human common person there are sodas sanskaras the speciality of sanatan dharma is sodas sanskaras right most of you know about the sodas sanskaras right very 16 samskaras are there though 16 is the least list right according to some there are 255 samskaras in total according to some this is 54 74 etc etc but 16 is normally accepted 16 samskaras are there and this is speciality that i am covering in this course not in today's class apparently from the next or next to next class we will be covering the sodas samskaras talking about the remedy if that sodas sanskaras are employed correctly right from the beginning the child does not need the remedy nowadays people need a lot of remedy this is small a small section of hindi speaking i will do just to explain you the point then we will then i will repeat it in english okay let's just understand abhi aajkal main kya sochta hu consultation mein log dekhe sir depression ho raha hai bully kar rahe hain hum bhi bachche hain तो आज किसी से पूछो कैसे बुली कर दिया ये कह दिया जी हमको मैंने हमें तो पता नहीं क्या क्या कह दिया हम तो नहीं बुली हुए कभी आजकल के बच्चे बुली हो जाते हैं सर मम्मी ने प्यार से बात नहीं की हम तो जो है डिप्रेस हो गए हमारे पापा में बेल्ट से पीटा करते थे हमने डिप्रेस हुए आज तक ऐसे कैसे डिप्रेस हो रहे हैं आजकल के बच्चे दोस्त ने ये कह दिया वो कहते हमारे दोस्त ने पता नहीं क्या क्या कह दिया हमको तो प्रॉब्लम दैट इज हैपनिंग इज अ वीक माइंड because sanskaras are not being employed the problem is increasing right because the sanskaras are not employed correctly the problem is increasing people are becoming less tolerant people are becoming depressed they are getting problems that people have not even heard about i will give you many examples but this have to be understood all this modern life issues you are the, you are you are saying witnessing is because of the eradication of samskaras right understand this point very clearly as brother sir mera husband mere ko space nahi deta shaadi nahi karte full space rehta sacrifice kyun kar raha space murta wali baatein hoti hai na ye sari to matlab space nahi de raha kya matlab hai matlab ek aadmi jitni jagah leta hai utni jagah leta hoga उतना ही हवा उतना ही ऑक्सीजन लेता होगा उतना ही खाना खाता होगा क्या करता है मतलब घर में बना सारा खाना खा जाता है कैसे स्पेस ले लेता है पूरे बिस्तर पे खुद ही फैल के सो जाता है आप नहीं सो पा रहे हो पांच लोगों के सीटर के सोफा में अकेला ही बैठा रहता है क्या क्या करता है 
this is mental dissatisfaction this mental dissatisfaction is coming because people is going into marriage but they don't understand companionship but why they are not understanding companionship because samskaras are getting eradicated earlier time you see rishis have given gun milan horoscope is matching based on gun milan couple is living together happily all well and good nowadays i also have taught match making in match making i have said more than gun milan is needed why because the world nowadays is at different level only gun milan will not work so more things are needed in match making but why it is needed it is because of the decline of sanskaras the right? decline of sanskar is the problem gun milan is your husband is listening to you wife is listening to husband earlier time this was enough but nowadays only listening is not enough people listen they don't act this becomes the problem right so more things are needed and these are needed because of the decline of sanskar now this sanskar as 16 it right starts from garbhadan and in explaining this process you will understand how the things are there right so for a hindu or for anyone for that matter it is not about hinduism only muhurta is primarily employed in sanskar Classically, the sanskar is done in a good mood. That sanskar does a lot of things. You will understand. All the sanskars are performed in good mood. You will not need any remedy in life. But the problem is, you we need lot of remedies nowadays because sanskar is not being done at right point of time. The first sanskar is garbadan. Sanskar is divided into three things: gar garbadan, punsavan, zimanto nayan. Parent will do. You are in the womb. other sanskara vivah is only one that you will do by your choice other things parents will do antyashti you will die last rites will be done by someone else all of that is in sanskaras right first sanskar is garbhadan garbhadan is conception a conception should be done at right point of time there are many people who are suffering you know who are not having children children are dying pregnancy is not being fulfilled right children are born weak brother defects are there this is happening because garbhadana sanskar is not taken into consideration right garbhadana sanskar is the exact muhurt when the couple should copulate basically to produce the child when you do garbhadana in right muhurt it makes sure that the lady conceives the pregnancy sustains 9 month and the child is born in a good muhurt and the child succeeds well in life child does not have any physical or mental defect by birth and the progress is good right so garbhadan is very important for all of those people who are trying to have children and they are not able to have children 100% remedy to have child is is proper garbhadan muhurt other remedies are not 100% at all right so whenever there is a child birth related issue you will have to use the principles of garbhadan without that any remedy you are providing is as useless as it can be ek joke kar lo chhota sa agar aapka sentiment na hurt ho jaye to sentiment hurt kar sakte hain jo koi baat nahi lo krishna ka mantra karte hain bachcha paida karne ke liye krishna santan kisi aur ki thi pala kisi aur nahi jail mein bachcha paida karna hai aur aap chahte hain ki aapko bachcha kisi aur ki gochh chala jaye krishna to acche bachche nahi hai krishna kahan se acche bachche acche bachche hai kya पूरे बच्चे वॉट एवर क्लासिकली इट इज टोल्ड दैट यू सी संतान गोपाल मंत्र शुड बी डन संतान रामा नो संतान रामा इज नो संतान रामा इज बोर्न एडल्ट ओनली संतान कृष्णा इज देयर दैट इज वन पॉइंट रेमेडी ऑफ एनी डी टी कैन बी डन इज नॉट एन इश्यू यूवरशिप नारायण नारायण कैन गिव यू चाइल्ड यूवरशिप रामा रामा इज ऑल्सो चाइल्ड एट अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो दैट रामा कैन ऑल्सो गिव यू चाइल्ड इज द बायसनेस एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स अ चाइल्ड लाइक कृष्णा प्रोबेबली पीपल वॉन्ट ब्लैक बेबीज All good, no problem into that. Netcut बच्चे चाहिए होता है लोगों का सर राम जी सर सुशील बच्चा नहीं चाहिए किसी को netcut चाहिए। फिर कहते हैं सर बात नहीं मानता हमारी कहाँ कृष्ण बात मानता था अपनी मम्मी की उसको पेड़ से बांधे रहते थे। राम जी सर बच्चा को चाहिए नहीं बात की मानेगा आपको। फिर लोग कहते हैं बच्चा हमारा उद्धंड आपको लगता है That is one point. एक और मजे की बात बता दू उसके कुछ समय पहले की बात है मैं 
कहीं बाहर जा रहा था पत्नी के साथ एक साहब मुझे फोन किया दो तीन बार फोन आ गया मैं परेशान होता जा रहा हूँ बार बार है ना क्योंकि काम में बाधा हो रही है लगेज रखना है ये करना है वो करना है फिर मैंने इवेंचुअली फोन उठा लिया मैंने कहा कि परेशान एकदम होता रह रहा है फोन उठा लेते हैं उठाया फोन तो फोन पे वो कह रहे हैं सुभम जी मैंने आपका यूट्यूब चैनल देखा ये वो जो कुछ भी किया मेरी बेटी है बेटी बच्चा उसको डिलीवर करना है आप मुझको उसके लिए मुहूर्त दे दो मैंने कहा नहीं सर नहीं मेरी बेटी को बच्चा होना है बच्चा वो उससे होना है क्या नाम है सीजेरियन और उसके मुहूर्त को लेकर के मैं आपसे डिस्कशन करना चाहता हूं डिस्कशन सुन के मेरा दिमाग खराब उनका बराबर के लोग डिस्कशन करते हैं भाई तो या तो आप कहो कि हम भी आपके जैसे ही बड़े ज्योतिष हैं डिस्कशन करना चाहते हैं तो क्यों करना चाहते हैं वो नहीं करेंगे आप बोलो मैं स्टूडेंट हूँ तो स्टूडेंट कहाँ से डिस्कशन करता है स्टूडेंट प्रश्न करता है डिस्कशन नहीं करता नहीं ये बात थोड़ी क्लियर हो जाए अब पचास पचपन साठ साल का आदमी फोन करते हुए उसको डिस्कशन और प्रश्न के बीच में फर्क नहीं पता है तो उससे क्या बात की जाए कुछ बात नहीं की जा सकती मैंने कहा सॉरी सर आई एम नॉट इन फॉर डिस्कशन एट ऑल थैंक यू मैंने फोन काट दिया उसने फिर से फोन किया मैंने कहा भाई क्या दिक्कत है तो ही इज लाइक कि नहीं नहीं सर आप जो तुषी हैं आपकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होनी चाहिए ये होनी चाहिए वो होनी चाहिए मैंने कहा नहीं आप मुझे मत पाठ पढ़ाओ मेरी क्या रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होनी चाहिए मेरे को पता है क्या रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होनी चाहिए बट स्टिल वो मुझसे बहस करने बता रहा हूँ तो अब तक मेरा दिमाग खराब मैंने कहा यार एक बात आप मुझे बताएं आपकी डॉटर ने डिलीवर करना है आज कल या परसों में तीन दिन में से एक दिन में डिलीवर करेगी राइट right? आप कह रहे हो कि डॉक्टर हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर है परसों डिलीवरी हो रही है मैं आपको एग्जैक्ट एक दो मिनट का टाइम देता हूं अच्छा मुहूर्त का कैन यू इंश्योर कि दो मिनट में डॉक्टर पूरा सीजरियन कर लेगा डॉक्टर लेट नहीं आएगा घड़ी उसकी मैच होगी नर्सेस सारे तैयार होंगे और प्रोसेस दो मिनट में शुरू होकर खत्म हो जाएगा क्या मतलब नहीं है हो ही नहीं सकता डॉक्टर लेट आ सकता है डिलीवरी में टाइम लग सकता है ना ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स राइट दिन है चतुर्थी रिक्ता तिथि है आपकी बेटी को लेबर पेन सुबह से शुरू हो जाएगा मैं बोलूंगा जी अगले 24 घंटे मूर्त ठीक नहीं 24 घंटे लेबर पेन रोक लेगी वो नहीं रोक सकती जिस राशि में गुरु जा रहा है संवत्सर ही अच्छा नहीं है संवत्सर अच्छा नहीं होता तो पूरा साल ही खराब है साल बच्चा पैदा करने के लिए अच्छा नहीं है मैं उसको बोलूँ प्रेगनेंसी साल भर डिले कर दे वो कर ही नहीं सकती We have a lot of limitations, right? When you are saying, "Give me a mouth for delivery," it is having a lot of limitations, right? Because delivery as a process cannot be done in two minutes, right? And things cannot be avoided. So, regarding the mouth for delivery, I don't recommend giving a mouth for delivery. Point one. All the people who have a child, cesarean child born on a mouth, given by some astrologer, all the children suffer badly in life. Is what I have seen. So if you have to give muhurt for child, give muhurt for garbadhan. Conception will happen at good muhurt. The pregnancy will be well for the nine months, and eventually, when the child will be born on the delivery day, he will be born in a good muhurt. So good muhurt you want to give, you give a good muhurt for garbadhan. And thing related to garbadhan is even a good muhurt for garbadhan, the conception will happen for sure hundred percent. That is one thing. Delivery murt you will never give. Delivery murt I have not included into it also. Mummy pe pressure, doctor pe pressure, sab pe pressure bata. Asa thodi bure halat mein pehda ho bache kaise achha kar sakta hai? Pressure mein pehda ho bache achha nahi kar sakta. Second, sanskar is pun savan. Pun savan pun come from purush. And so pun savan is to make sure that you have a male child. I am not becoming gender biased. Pun or purush. should be interpreted as virility you want the child to be healthy the child should not be born with a defect for the child to be born healthy punsavan is to be done this punsavan is done in 2 to 4 months of pregnancy small procedure is there so punsavan if you do if you do punsavan sanskar first of all and that you do in a good mood it makes sure that child is not born with a defect and the development of child all up to the age of 24 28 is happening well right so if you want to, i know many brahman children many brahman childrens eating non vegetarian food and doing things only because they want a good body it does not help them punsavan will help 100% my guarantee wo nahi kaam karega aap mere paas aana main bachcha healthy karke dunga aap dadu shri kumar that is guarantee fail hi nahi hota matlab it will not fail that is sure. but one more thing is there 
whatever is told for punsavan one more thing i have done for you whatever is told for punsavan cannot be done nowadays to be very honest with you the procedure for punsavan is so elaborate so huge that you cannot do it the priest have to be called worship should be done and all of this should be done and nowadays for people living in a 2 bhk home in delhi impossible finding that caliber of priest and doing this long procedure is also very difficult impossible so i have read the i have taken the complete process and just took the condensed form out of it kheer banane hai kheer mein ghee dalna hai aur ye kheer mummy ko khilani hai yahi basic process hai baaki sari baatein bekar ke baad right to pura jo pansavan ka process hai sabse pehle matrika poojan vaso dhara poojan this that मंडल पूजन एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा ये सब हमने हटा दिया खीर बनाइए खीर में शुद्ध गाय का घी मिलाइए एक चम्मच मम्मी को खिलाइए एक चम्मच पापा को खिलाइए बाकी सबको खिलाइए और बच्चे का पंचवन डन ज्यादा कुछ खास नहीं करना है राइट तो द प्रोसेस दैट इज टू बी डन दो इट इज अ वेरी इलेबरेट प्रोसेस बट आई हैड मेड इट वेरी सिंपल सो एज एन एस्ट्रोलॉजर वेन यू गिव द रेमेडी और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सजेस्ट द रेमेडी टू एनी वन एटलीस्ट दे आर एबल टू डू इट प्रॉपरली राइट बिकॉज द क्रक्स इज द खीर उनको दिया ये अपने रहने को खिलाओगे दशरथ जी तो आपको पुत्र की प्राप्ति होगी अच्छा पुत्र प्राप्त हो तो पुनसवन में बेसिक बात क्या है रामायण में वाल्मीकि भी कह चुके हैं ना यज्ञ से जो पुरुष निकले थे जो अग्निदेव निकले थे उन्होंने खीर का कटोरा दिया था ना दशरथ को दशरथ ने कह कही वगैरह सबको खिलाया था है तो उसके लिए बस जो है कि खीर जरूरी है अच्छा खीर बनाइए खीर बनाइए आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज सीमंत नयन थर्ड संस्कार इज सीमंत नयन सीमंत इज दिस सेंट्रल पार्ट मांग व्हाट यू कॉल इन वेर फीमेल हैव दिस सिंदूर दैट इज कॉल्ड सीमंत राइट द फ्रंटल पार्ट ऑफ इन द एलिफेंट्स हेड द सेक्शन व्हिच इज डिप्रेस्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड सीमंत सीमंत नयन इज डन टू मेक श्योर दैट चाइल्ड हैव नो मेंटल डिफेक्ट so slow intelligent and able to focus etc these things does not happen if simantonian is done properly the child is intelligent right simantonian process is the third process that should also be done in a good more to so simantonian once again elaborate procedure made sure brahmi is a brahmi is a what ayurvedic medicine so brahmi juice etc you can find in patanjali shops i don't recommend it ये क्लास के अंदर की बात है बाहर नहीं कहना कि मैं पतंजलि रिकमेंड नहीं करता हमको किसी के बारे में क्या बातें करनी ब्राह्मी इज अ मेडिसिनल हर्ब ब्राह्मी जूस ब्राह्मी पाउडर इज अवेलेबल द क्रक्स ऑफ सीमंतो नैन इज दैट मदर शुड कंज्यूम लिटिल बिट ऑफ ब्राह्मी दैट इज द क्रक्स सो हैव द ब्राह्मी एंड मेक द मदर ड्रिंक अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ब्राह्मी इन अ गुड मुहूर्त द सीमंतो नैन इज डन फॉर यू अदर थिंग्स आर नॉट नीडेड इन द रिचुरिस्टिक वे मैंने पूरा पूजा पाठ के बीच में उसको बुला करके हवन में जो है कि आपने ब्राह्मी खिलानी है ऐसे खिला देते ब्राह्मी इज कंसीडर्ड हर बिन आयुर्वेदा विच इंक्रीज इंटेलिजेंस बट वॉट इज द यूज राइट आई ब्राह्मी इज टोल्ड टू इंक्रीज इंटेलिजेंस सो पीपल कंज्यूम ब्राह्मी बट वॉट यू थिंक फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड पर्सन कंज्यूमिंग ब्राह्मी विल बिकम इंटेलिजेंट अब तो ये पक्का खड़ा हो गया अब कहां से इसमें अब इसका तो शेप पता नहीं जा सकता सो ओनली चिल्ड्रन अंडर द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी इफ दे कंज्यूम रामी देन सम इंटेलिजेंस कैन बी इंक्रीज बट नो रेमेडी विल कन्वर्ट अ डंकी टू हाउस रामी खा लेने से गधा घोड़ा नहीं हो जाए गधा ही रहेगा सो वेन द रेमेडी इज डन राइट इन द वूम इट इज इफेक्टिव द रेमेडी इज डन अपू द इयर्स ऑफ सेवन एट द चाइल्ड विल हैव better retention better learning but apparently the development of the child will happen according to the parents only only brahmi will not work other remedy kriya mangaram as i told in the beginning should also be followed the next is jataka karma jataka karma comes from jataka karma right making the jataka making the native this is delivery for this delivery this is sanskar i have just told you i don't give a muhurt for delivery you cannot control these things so this is not a muhurt as such this is a procedure in fact 
you see the biggest remedy that one can do in their life the biggest remedy that they can do in the life of the child the moment when the lady goes into the labor pain till the time the child is born and kept on the ground born or kept on the ground umbilical cord cutting either ways you take in between this if you donate something if the father donates something that donation is most powerful donation in the complete universe right and once this donation is done there is no further remedy that either the father needs ever in life or the child needs ever in life only this one remedy the simple remedy just one rupee donation is enough and no remedy is needed for the child for the rest of the lifetime or the father for the rest of the lifetime people don't know it so now it is no one does this but this one singular donation have very high value so donation is like this you see cow donation is great cow donation is a great donation earth donation is even greater donation and zameen nagar donating everything sarva sudanam is even greater donation donation can be done on any day but if it is done on purnima amavasya sankranti grahan it is even better and if that donation is done at the time when the child is being born then it is supreme there is no donation better than this it says that that as a virtue of this donation you can even purchase the blessings of narayan bhagwan bhi khareed sakte hai aap is donations if you want to so that is needed this is small procedure is there and now this that is very easy you no know? you just stand outside the labor room do an online donation to some temple and okay done and tested thank you पुराने समय की बात थोड़ी पंडित जी को खड़ा रखना है सामने की पंडित जी जैसे ही बस जैसे ही रोने की आवाज आएगी भीतर से वैसे ही आपको जो है ये तराजुदान कर देंगे आजकल तो बहुत इजी काम है तो सर जात कर्मा राइट आफ्टर जात कर्मा कम्स षष्टी षष्टी इज द सिक्स डे ऑफ सिक्स डे आफ्टर द बर्थ ऑफ द चाइल्ड षष्टी इज अ गॉडेस द वाइफ ऑफ दिस स्कंद इज देवसेना देवसेना इज कंसिडर्ड षष्टी it is believed that sasti is the goddess she rides a cat and she kills anyone if the mother and father is not virtuous if the mother or father commits a sin then sasti the goddess eats the child and the child dies as a result of that to make sure sasti does not eat your child and your bad karmas do not kill your children you will have to do the sasti remedy it is believed that shasti is very you see shasti is very graceful towards the child the goddess shasti plays with the child in the dream give things to the child in the dream and as a result of that newborn children generally want to sleep they want to find shasti goddess and as they wake up shasti goddess disappears they start crying वैसे मुझे किसी बच्चे ने ऐसी बात बताई तो अब तक नहीं है मान लेते हैं ऐसा शास्त्र में लिखा है मान लेते हैं जो चीज हम नहीं पता कर सकते उसमें शास्त्र की बात मान लेते हैं ना रियल लाइफ में जो देखा जा सकता है वो तो ठीक है मृत्यु के बाद क्या होगा मैंने तो मर के देखा नहीं है तो शास्त्र की बात मान लेते हैं भाई वही ठीक होता हो दैट इज हाउ हिंदुजम गोज राइट सो सष्टी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सष्टी देर इज ऑल्सो राहू वेदन दैट इज ऑल्सो स्मॉल प्रोसेस सो सष्टी वेदन यू डू चाइल्ड हैव गुड हेल्थ राहू वेदा यू डू Rahu Veda makes sure that there is no trouble, major trouble from planets in the life of the child for the rest of the lifetime. So Rahu Veda basically you make a potali of different different things, haldi etc., and you beat that potali with a weapon, sword, arrow, hammer etc. You do it having child by your side. Certainly, child is very small; he cannot do it. So you do it, and it makes sure that negative energy, bala grahas, don't attack the child. otherwise there is a concept in astrology also of balagrahas and these balagrahas disturb the child while the child is in the developmental stages you say initial 2 3 years because of these balagrahas generally you see some children because children cannot speak cannot say their problem as right they can only cry so sometimes children die of unknown reasons or they are poisoned by people or you know they are either become the victim of jealousy of others in remote villages or children just die die because of you know sometimes children even die because they cannot gulp the milk of mother properly right ab they cannot be taught how to gulp so this is all in the hands of fortune 
and to make sure this does not happen rahu way then you do next muhurta is for naam agar naming ceremony naming first of all regarding naming people to don't know principal nowadays in consultation i am seeing so bizarre name of children sometimes so i ask people what is the meaning of this name batai do bhai aisa kya khatarnak naam rakh diya ekdam pata sometimes the name is not good at all so i have to tell people to change the name appropriately the concept is that the name is kept based on the birth nakshatra ram is named ram his birth nakshatra do not have the letter r ra so the name of the ram kept by vashisht is not based on the nakshatra ram is born in so this particular concept that your name should be based on the nakshatra of moon is utter useless as, as much as it can be ram ka hi naam ram ke nakshatra pe nahi hai krishna ka naam krishna ke nakshatra pe nahi hai आपको राम कृष्ण राम और कृष्ण बनना है कुछ और बनना है कुछ और तो नहीं बनना है रिगार्डिंग नेमिंग सम पीपल आर नॉट बोर्न विथ राजी योगा राइट बट यू सी इन मुहूर्त ऑल्सो यू विल फाइंड इट दैट नेम राशि इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीडिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ दशा अंतर दशा एंड डूइंग थिंग्स कैलकुलेशन हैव टू बी मेड फ्रॉम नेम राशि सो विच एवर राशि नेम इज फॉलोइंग दैट इज अ टेम्पररी असेंडेंट फॉर यू योर बर्थ असेंडेंट यू कैन नॉट चूज बट टेम्पररी असेंडेंट यू कैन चूज so children who are not born with raj yoga if their name is kept in such a manner that it produces raj yoga you can make raj yoga available for them right you can make the raj yoga available for the people with a good name a good name is the best remedy that you can do and it will be constantly done because it is your name permanently so a proper name is one of the greatest remedy as such ek bachcha hai the shubh mohurt uh, the shubh naam course i did Shubh Nam course he took, and he spent a lot of time asking questions and practicing it. One one and a half year, I believe. After one and a half year, and with a lot of discussions with me, he finally chose chose a name, and he was like, "Sir, I will keep this." That name he was so shy. I believe that in consultation that he refused to turn on his camera. He's like, "Sir, I shy. I don't want to." He finally messaged me some one month ago that sir I changed my name. Okay, congratulations. My effort of one and a half year at least culminated into something. Then he said, sir, my name also got published in some digest. I am very happy. So very shy person. He also took a consultation for his name coming into a digest is something to be celebrated actually. And as you keep a good name, the rajyoga starts manifesting and a strong manifestation is there as well. it's a good name is better than any remedy so namakaran major thing annaprashan is when the child is consuming first food outside the mother's milk is annaprashan annaprashan done in a good muhurta is very brilliant because disease is produced from food humans are disease free if they don't eat and don't come in contact with animals this is are spread by food and animal however none of these things humans can avoid you have to interact with animals and you have to consume food that is the particular reason you see sanyasis start stop consuming grains upavas is recommended so you don't consume grains right so that the longevity is increased grain produces disease grain is the cause of death ayurveda says you grain causes death don't consume grain you can become amar right you will never die if you don't consume grain but consuming grain is necessity but for a spiritual person the food that is recommended is you only consume milk products also not highly recommended but milk products can be consumed raw fruit boiled vegetable only you consume grain bread rice you don't consume and you see your health do it for one year you see it yourself optimum of health eradication of disease all of that will happen but certainly people cannot do it a lot of food you will have to consume overeating is another problem but annaprashan done in a good muhurta makes sure that the child does not suffer a lot of health issues at least because of food so all of these issues that is coming right now you think bp or sugar Was a problem four hundred years ago. 
These are major lifestyle issues that is coming nowadays. This is coming because Annaprashan is not done properly. If the Annaprashan is done properly, I believe these remit, uh, these problems can be eradicated to a greater extent. The people whose Annaprashan have, I have done on a good murta, these children are still to cross the age of 50, 60. Right, but eventually they will do so far, they are not having any health issues as such. So sometimes, sometimes you see the horos, the person is having less bad result as compared to what is indicated in horoscope. These are the people where all the 16 samskaras are done properly at right time. And sometimes you see horoscope is having a little bit of affliction and the problem is very huge. The result is bad muhurta, unfulfilled samskaras. Samskaras in right muhurta is the duty. Then there is chuda karma. Chuda karma is you see the child is going to witness sun for the first time. That is called chuda karma. The child is kept on the ground for the first time. Child sits for the first time. Child witnesses the sun for the first time. It is considered that the eye of the child is very fragile. So the child does not see a lot of light or camera flash. They should not see before this sanskar, right? Because the eyes are very, what you say, eyes are very soft. Right. The problem is nowadays, so you see, students in fifth, sixth class have such a mota chasma on their head. In my family, you see, being an astrologer, I read a lot. I have a huge collection of books. I read a lot of things. You see, I sit in front of computer, teach you people. Everyone else in the family, though they don't read and sit in front of computer as much, I do all of them have glasses. Right. So this is happening because such things are happening, right? So as you do Chuda Karma in the right Muhurt, and if you do Chuda Karma, these problems, the failing of body part before time, you see, one will have to wear glasses at a point of time as the eyes become weak with age. So if you are forced to use glasses, spectacles after age of 35, 40, it is all okay. But what if the child is to use it right from the beginning, from the fifth or sixth standard, this is problematic. Right? Today or tomorrow, you say for, for female, menopause will also happen. Menopause happens between the age of 45 to 55. So a proper chuda karma is making sure that it happens at the later age, right? At the age of 55 and not before, not at the age of 40 or 45 as such. Next is Akshar Arab is when first time the child writes, Karna Vedan when the ear is pierced. Now ear piercing, you see females generally have lesser diseases as compared to males. If you see people dying from heart attack, the number of women are lesser as compared to men or other issues. This is because of Karna Vedan. If you do Karna Vedan properly in good mood, failure of internal organ is lesser as compared to those people who don't do it. So Karna Vedan at right moment is saves you from a lot of diseases over time. After that, there is Upanayan. Upanayan is technically initiation into knowledge. Upanayan is when the child gets the Janeu. Nowadays, no one is getting Janeu. It is the time when initiation is to be there. So initiation in education at right moment makes sure that there is good progress in education and at least the person absorbs the knowledge that he is getting. Right? For Vedaramba, when the child should start learning Vedas, for Samavartan, Vivah and Anteshti, are the other muhurtas, right? So when these samskaras are done in a good muhurt, all these other if other defects that can come in the life of humans, bad marriage can happen, bad health can happen, intellect can be low and all sort of things. These This is all tackled in samskaras. So 16 samskaras are done in a good muhurta. Technically, other remedies are not needed in life. Nowadays, remedied are, remedies are only needed because these things are not being conducted at correct time. That is the problem. Understood the point? You have uh, got a lot of introduction of mood, right? Now the process. So I will divide it into four categories. Force, 
फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक ऑफ जनरल कंसिडरेशन फॉर एवरी मुहूर्त देन वी गो टू स्पेशल कंसिडरेशन फॉर स्पेशल मुहूर्त राइट स्पेशल मुहूर्त विल इंक्लूड दिक्सटीन संस्कार जॉब वेन टू लीव अ जॉब वेन टू वीर जेम स्टोन वेन टू डू द रेमेडी एन ऑल everything that i have promised of 36 37 type of murta i have to teach you 39 type of murta i have to teach you 39 i have written when i was writing the description of the course now i can increase it also koi baat nahi baad mein zyada idea aa gaya to badha denge content hai na kam nahi karenge after that there is custom muhurt and personal muhurt that i am wanting to teach because in this complete muhurt process what you will see that muhurt is generally standard if atithi is good it is good for everyone but you see one size does not fit all so personalized muhurt as per the native should be made which is more effective that i will te teach you in the third step so we go step by step one by one keeping everything into consideration right so you will have to be careful and as i told you the same principles you can apply in natal chart prashna both the places okay